I hear the term suspended animation, cryonics, and cryogenics from time to time. Do these three terms have the same meaning? No. At present, suspended animation of humans is science fiction. Cryonics and cryogenics, however, are facts. Suspended animation means perfected, reversible, biostasis. Cryonics means experimental, not yet reversible, biostasis at very low temperatures. Cryonics is also known as cryonic suspension and cryonic hibernation. On the other hand, cryogenics is concerned with the science and technology of the production of very low temperatures for whatever purposes and the scientific study of low temperature phenomena. Is cryonics a religion? No. Cryonic suspension, also known as cryonic hibernation, is a kind of biomedical research. Biomedical research, whether with respect to cancer or cryonics, is not a religion. Cancer patients and cryonics patients belong to a wide variety of religions, including theistic religions, atheistic philosophies, and so forth. If cryonics or suspended animation eventually proves to be successful, will I have to change my religious beliefs? This is, of course, up to you. But in fact cryonics patients, like cancer patients, belong to a wide variety of religions, as just explained. Researchers involved in cancer research or cryonics research presumably know something about cancer or cryonics. This does not mean they know much worth paying attention to with respect to religion or philosophy. For example, Dr. Stephen Hawking presumably knows something about certain aspects of mathematical physics. This does not mean he's worth paying attention to with respect to religion or philosophy. But in fact, for many decades now, persons have been returned to life by CPR, for example. In some cases, persons have been clinically dead for hours before restoration to life. In the mass media I sometimes hear strange stories about cryonics. Is cryonics a scam? Cancer research may or may not be a scam. It depends on the individual researchers and organizations. Cryonics research may or may not be a scam. It depends on the individual researchers and organizations. It seems wise to be careful which cancer or cryonics organization you choose. On the one hand, there are cases in which cancer researchers or cryonics administrators have engaged in unethical behavior. On the other hand, there are cases of unethical behavior in which writers have produced news stories and sensational books supposedly debunking cryonics but in fact with little or no concern for the truth. Why should I support cryonic hibernation or suspended animation research? There is reason to believe such research will prove successful. For example, it is already the case that most any type of animal or human cells, and many tissues, can be placed in long-term suspended animation indefinitely and revived to full health. For example, many healthy human adults alive today were once in long-term low-temperature suspended animation as embryos. In terms of the present cryonic hibernation of humans, we can think in terms of three stages as we consider the patient's prospect for recovery. Stage 1 involves the pre-cooling down and cooling down periods. Stage 2 involves the stasis care period, years, decades, or centuries. Stage 3 involves the warming up and post-warming up periods. Thus it is possible for damage to occur in any or all of the three stages. If we use today's best available stage 1 and stage 2 procedures for the brain, it appears that the brain does not incur much structural information damage. Damage occurs, but it is obvious what the structure was like beforehand. Unfortunately, however, today's stage 3 procedure does seem to cause significant damage. And there is a sense in which the accumulated stage 1, stage 2, and stage 3 damage is manifested in stage 3. For biostasis to work, we have to successfully get through all three stages, not just the first two stages. The good news is that we can wait as long as necessary in stage 2. Stage 3 will not be performed on the cryonics patient until stage 3 has been perfected to the extent that the patient will recover to full health or better. Did you say, recover to full health or better? Yes. Think about it. Think about the level of biomedical technology that will exist at that point in time. Why settle for being well when you can be better than well? 
Where can I obtain additional information about experimental human suspended animation? At lifeboat.com, click on Projects. Then find and click on Personality Preserver to go to the Personality Preserver webpage. Or go directly to the following URL.